When Conte was eight, he and his father would pick trash all day in the densely populated eastern part of Paris. Every day, they walked for kilometers in search of valuable trash they could sell to recycling companies for quick cash, just to get by. In 1998, when France hosted the World Cup, people from around the world gathered in Paris to witness the football event. This presented Conte and his father with an opportunity to make good money. Because where there's crowd, there's bound to be lots of trash to pick. So they collected garbage around the stadiums, around viewing centers, where people gathered to watch matches. Interestingly, the France national football team ended up winning that World Cup. But what fascinated Conte wasn't the money they were making from the trash he and his father were picking. It was that the bulk of the France national football team that won that World Cup were of African descent. And being born to Malian immigrants, Conte himself started believing he could play for the national team. Sadly, when Conte was 11, his father passed away. And because he was the eldest of four children, and because he has a mother that was counting on him, he knew he had to step up. He knew trash picking wouldn't sustain his family, so he registered at a football academy near his home. In stature, Conte was the smallest of all the players in the academy. He looked so small that the coach was apprehensive in putting him into matches, fearing he'd be trampled on the field. But the day he put Conte on the pitch, something surprising happened. All those years of walking for kilometers around the city of Paris picking trash has made his endurance level something the coach staffs had never seen before. Conte would run down players twice his size and steal the ball from them cleanly. He would run up and down the field many times than any other player, without breaking a sweat. Conte then went on to become the integral part of both the clubs he played for in England in winning two Premier League titles and the Champions League trophy. He was also an integral part of the French national football team that won the World Cup in 2012. So much was his impact on the France national team that the whole of France dedicated a song to him that literally meant he's the best football stealer of all time. This Conte story might sound familiar to you. So familiar, it's a story you've probably heard before in one form or the other. The theme of this sort of story is usually the same. A person faces a difficult challenge, a Mount Everest of some sort. The necessity to become the best version of himself arises. He ends up making it to the summit. He then goes on to succeed monumentally because of that difficult trial he's had to face. Picking trash was Conte's Everest. Childhood abuse was Oprah Winfrey's. Polio and paralysis was Franklin D. Roosevelt's. Chronic depression was Abraham Lincoln's. Learning challenges was Winston Churchill's. And this brings me to the first reason why no fap will change your life forever. Reason number one, no fap might be your Mount Everest. Your life story won't probably be as dramatic as that of Conte's or Oprah Winfrey's or all those people whose lives are movie worthy, but everybody must climb their Everest at one point in their lives. But how do you know what your Everest is? Your Everest is usually the thing that scares you the most or challenges you the most. And right now, if you're really addicted to fapping, completing the NoFap Challenge will be one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do in your life. Coming out on the other side of your NoFap will change you. Going forward, you'll come to believe that you can do anything you put your mind to. And the science supports this claim. Researchers have shown us that our willpower region is like a muscle that gets stronger the more we use it. And since you'll have to resist lots of urges during your NoFap, this makes NoFap the ultimate exercise of willpower. As a result, you would have rebuilt your prefrontal cortex. And this is the area of the brain known as the CEO part of the brain. It's responsible for logical reasoning, willpower, and all those qualities that make you have confidence in your own abilities. And this is integral in forging a life worth living. To climb your Everest, you need all the help you can get. One such help is this channel that's dedicated to helping you become the best version of yourself. Subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it when I drop more motivational videos like this one. The second reason why NoFap will change your life forever is that you'll have more time and more energy than you ever did. In today's world, time has become a scarce commodity. Everyone wishes they had more time to do one thing or the other. If you're addicted to fapping for however long you've been addicted to it, chances are that you're spending at least two hours on the habit every day. And when you do no fap the right way, that's two hours you're gaining back. And in a year, you've just gained an extra month. Now, think about that for a second. You can do anything you want with this extra month. 
And just like that, the person he used to be that always complained of not having the time to do the things he really wants to do is now able to use this extra time for something that will truly change his life. You could register for a course and could learn a new skill that will earn you money, or you could spend this time with your loved ones. Aside from the extra time you'll now have on your hands, you also have that extra energy to boot. This extra energy comes when you stop ejaculating every day. This extra energy will definitely come handy in dealing with the challenges of life. Please know that this energy from NoFap is real, and it's not the only NoFap benefit you'll start experiencing when you go on NoFap. Here's a video up here that shows you the timeline of the NoFap benefits you're going to experience when you go on NoFap. If this video has motivated you in any way and made you want to complete the NoFap challenge, Please like this video so that this motivation will get to more guys that might be in need of this type of motivation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.